In 1628, a Dutch ship, the Batavia, left the Netherlands bound for the Dutch East Indies. On board were over 300 men, women and children, and a huge amount of gold and silver for trade. Thousands gathered at the port in Texel to bid them a safe journey. No one could have possibly imagined the horrors that lay ahead. Several months into the journey, after stopping at Cape Town for supplies, the skipper deliberately steered the ship off course. This was all part of a plot he had contrived with a psychopathic genius named Geronimus Cornelius. They, along with several others on board, had planned a mutiny which would see them take the ship along with all its gold and silver. In 1629, on June the 4th, the ship struck a reef on a group of islands off the coast of Western Australia. Absolute chaos ensued, and a mad scramble was made for the ship's longboat and yawl. Of the 322 aboard, 40 drowned. The remaining survivors managed to drag themselves ashore. A very basic camp was set up on the island with whatever they could salvage from the wreckage. The hot days were unforgiving, and there was no fresh water on any of the islands. After unsuccessfully scouring the mainland for water, Commander Pelsard and some select crew members took their 30-foot longboat on a 33-day journey to Indonesia to seek help. Incredibly, everyone aboard survived. While the commander was away, Cornelius and his band of followers seized their chance to take over. What ensued next was the stuff of nightmares as the bloodthirsty enclave took over and began their reign of terror. Those who protested were slaughtered. Others who refused to follow Cornelius had their skulls smashed in or were drowned in the cold sea. There were also tales of cannibalism and violent acts of depravity. Fighting back could only do so much. As the numbers of sadistic followers increased, the others had no choice but to fall into submission. Cornelius owned them all. Unfortunately for him, Pelsart returned. Upon learning of the massacre, Pelsart ordered his troops to capture Cornelius and his men. A bloody battle ensued. The superior firepower of Pelsart's trained soldiers won out in the end. Those who survived were captured. A decision was made to hold a trial on the island, as transporting and securing the accused would have been impossible due to the limited room on the rescue vessels. The worst of the offenders were strapped to a large wagon wheel, and then brutally beaten until all of their bones were smashed and shattered. This form of punishment was known as being broken on the wheel. It was the most severe form of punishment to be subjected to at the time. However, even after a horrific beating, some refused to die. It was only once a stake was driven through their heart that they would finally succumb to death. Others had their hands chopped off and were then hung and left for the birds. Even with a broken neck, some continued to scream for hours. Only two were spared. Considered minor offenders, they were given a meager amount of food and water and were told to make their way to the desolate mainland. What became of them is unknown. They were never heard from again. <laughs>